what's up scrappy peeps it's Adele from Inky Quill happy Saturday if it is not Saturday where you are living right now happy still Friday we are starting off the weekend with some project life today and I'm using the Citrus Twist October Pocket Life Kit and I'm using quite a lot of smaller photos I I'm still, I'm sorry peeps, I haven't yet filmed the end of my printing process, but it is coming. It will come, I promise, before Christmas. Let's say that. Before Christmas, I will have it up. Uh, but some of these photos are two by three inch, and I really like including that size in my project life um, just because it, you know, gives it a little bit of something different, and it also allows me to kind of create mini layouts almost by using a journaling card and I can include a little bit more embellishing than I probably normally could on a photo. This first one, this card was just perfect for it. It was a sunset photo that I took uh, from my parents' house and the mount, oh, I don't think they're mountains, hills. What's the difference between a hill and a mountain? Is it the size? These are large hills. They look over at these large hills and the moon was just coming through and it was just, it, it just reminded me of my childhood, my teenagehood, I guess I would say, uh, because when I was living there as a child, teenager, I, my chair, we all had, I'm an only child and we all had specific chairs. It was literally Goldilocks. There was a daddy chair, a mama chair and a baby chair. I was in the baby chair and it looked out at this view every night and so I, I had to snap a picture of it because it brought me back to my childhood feels. That was a long explanation for that story, I'm sorry. Peeps, we're off to a good start with this voiceover. I'm using this little die cut that came in the embellishment pack that says slow down and I just thought it was it was a, an appropriate uh, phrase to use with this photo because it is important sometimes to just slow down and take a photo of things that might seem not important just everyday things uh, take a photo of them include them in your project life because things change and for example I don't live at this house anymore uh, and so it's it's nice to always know that I, I have got a photo of that view uh, to keep forever I'm adding a couple of hearts and I will say I did do a little squeal of delight when I opened up the packet of embellishments this month and noticed all of those hearts and I can safely say I think I've used them all up uh, just in my first few projects that I've made. Now we're on to the next card. This is a photo of my bestie and her chicken. Uh, so my bestie has a few chickens, her and her hubby bought, and they named them after places that they had been to, which I thought was a really cool idea. Uh, this is Victoria, which is named after a state here in Australia. And I stole this from my friend's uh, Facebook page and just included it because I thought it was a cute photo. I decided I needed an explanation of this chicken photo and so I'm grabbing some of the little cutter parts that are included in the kit. These are in, those little cutter parts are in the pocket life kit but they're also in the main kit as well which is very handy if you get both of them. And I'm just layering that there. I did cut off the ends of that tag just because the um, the little phrase that I used just above that says "Hey, good looking" was it had it was an off-centered label, if that makes sense. And so I kind of didn't want two labels that weren't just a simple rectangle I wanted one of them to be a simple rectangle so I just cut those bits off and it worked I'm just doing a doodly border with my pilot g2 pen and I added some of those little hearts from the puffy uh, stickers sheet and this card is all done next up oh we've got this one so if you watch our vlog channel, which is Mr. and Mrs. Rad, uh, and if you've been watching it for a long time, then you'll know that the bunnies love the heater. They, uh, they love to crowd around it. 
and we sadly our old heater that we named it was what was it Sir Heats a lot I think it was Sir Heats a lot uh, he sadly died and we have a new heater that the bunnies love just as much so they're in their little playpen area and they're getting as physically close as possible to the heater as they can uh, without breaking out of their little caged spot and taking over the house and I wanted to include this photo because it just it sums up the bunnies in uh, on cold days just to a tea they can be there for hours I'm using some of the six by eight papers to map my photo just because this background card was a little bit busy with those stripes and I didn't want my photo to kind of disappear but by giving it a blue border uh, it makes it pop out a little bit more and it also ties in with some of the other blue I think there's two other splashes of blue on this layout and so it just helps kind of give a bit more blue to the page I knew as soon as I saw that circle die cut that I had to use it because it says at home and then I added seriously loving because they are seriously loving I like to kind of change up my journaling when I do my project life uh, by doing some of it onto labels and some of it just straight onto the card. It depends on what else I've already got on that card and if a, an extra label might make it too busy like it, I felt like it would here. I'm also adding some of the stamping. By the way, if you are new peeps, uh, just so you know, I, I get a lot of questions about my 9 by 12 albums. I buy my albums and my page protectors from Studio Calico Online. Unfortunately, they have taken off a lot of most of their 9 by 12 albums, but I have heard whispers that they are bringing them back next year. So stay tuned for that. Uh, there may be other stockers around that sell them, but that's where I mainly get mine from. Next up, I another stolen Facebook post because it must have been a bit of a quiet week this week and I was going Facebook searching on friends and family just to see what everyone's up to, just doing a, a healthy little bit of, of stalking on other people's Facebook pages because, hey, let's face it, if you have got Facebook, you have checked up and see and had a look at what your friends and family are up to at least once or twice or many more times than that. Uh, and so I just included this photo of Aaron's sister and just added a few little hearts and that card is done. Next up, what have I got next? Ah, so this is my title card for this week. And I had a look at the alphas that were included this month. Oh, I got myself tongue twisted there. The alphas that were included this month uh, didn't have numbers on them. And so I couldn't use those for the number part. And so in the end, I decided to just put a label and just hand write the dates. And I really like the way that it looks. I love the little pop of turquoise against the blue. It's not a color combo that I would probably think of just because they are the same color. I wouldn't think that it would pop enough, but I don't know. It was something about the, the turquoise. It just, it just spoke to me and I just wanted to, to pop it on here. So then I'm trying to figure out if you can tell when I am confused about what to do next. I have the little, you know, impatient fingers rattling on the desk and I wasn't quite sure what this card needed. But in the end, I decided with a white doodly border using my Uniball Signo Broad gel pen. And I really love the way that it looks. And then I go to these hearts because you can't have enough hearts ever added a little gold glittery one from my stash and this card is almost done almost adding a few more little diddly hearts and then this card is done so next up I have this little photo of Archie and this is I think I did a vlog at some point maybe in the last 30 episodes of our vlog uh, on Mr. and Mrs. Rad and I did a bit of a behind the scenes as to uh, how tricky it can be to edit videos with Archie around. And so when I'm, this is my standing desk, uh, my smaller standing desk that I have in the lounge room. And whenever I'm standing at it, editing videos, because if I have my computer, my laptop on my lap, that's just nope, Archie goes straight for it. If I have it at the standing desk, this is where he is the entire time. 
and he does little laps of around the table legs and then he climbs over the table legs and he crawls around and he's just always there and so I had to capture that little moment of him just holding on to the table looking very pensive at uh, whatever was going on outside it just was a perfect little photo I also had a I did a lot of social media uh, screenshotting for this week and it was the week that Prince Harry got married so I just included a screenshot there and then this is a very funny photo of Archie and he was obsessed with doing little handstands and so I had to include a picture and I think that's why that turquoise label on that first title card really works because of our uh, rug here is the same color and it just coordinates and just makes it pop adding just a tiny bit of journaling here and there wasn't much to say except that it was a funny little um, picture and that he's always on the move he's always twisting turning reaching stretching any type of active movement he can do he's doing it added a couple of little puffy hearts and it's done so this layout came together really quickly it was a fun one to do um, lots of little clusters of hearts and tags just my oh sorry not tags labels my usual project life go-to's if you did enjoy a bit of project life today please give this video a thumbs up it really does help out my channel and I will see you guys very soon bye